over the last week or so, I've received a great number of messages from you, um, emails and telephone calls, really just expressing how grateful you all are for being able to participate, albeit remotely, uh, in the Mass. I've heard some very touching stories about how as families, as the domestic church, you've tried to celebrate the Mass together by gathering together around a, an altar at home and following the action of the Mass as best you can over the social media. And this is very wonderful and it's a wonderful expression of the praying life of the church, the constant rhythm of prayer that can go on even through these rather difficult and challenging days. And I know that some of you are feeling very challenged by this and your desire for the sacraments is growing greater and greater. And I want to just assure you that I understand exactly how you're feeling at this time. But also to know that I'm praying for you. And as I go around the parish, especially on my one portion of exercise a day, I pray the rosary as I go around for the intentions of the parish, praying that you will be safe, that you will be secure, and that you will be kept in the love of God. Of course, we're trying to prepare now for the events of Holy Week. And throughout Holy Week, we're going to be focusing on the events of our redemption, those saving acts of the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord. So let's try to get into the spirit of prayer and recollection that we're going to need. The fact that we're going to be locked in at home is going to help this in some way. We won't have the distractions of the world outside. So let's think about the ways in which we're going to participate in Holy Week, meditating on the cross, following the stations of the cross, but above all by reading those accounts of our Lord's passion that we find in the Gospels. So do persevere. This trial is not going to be brief, so we have to pace ourselves and we have to try to forge a, a routine in our lives, a routine that's focused on the life of prayer, the life that goes on even behind the church's locked doors in these days. So God bless you all and keep you and persevere now in that love, faith and devotion which will keep us going.